Aloha friends, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf and in today's video I'm going to talk about the new Alien Wing. Uh, I've been testing and working on prototypes for the last year or so. Kind of kept it under wraps but uh, I've recently got all the different sizes and uh, this is a session uh, from today where I was testing the 7 meter Alien Wing and my friends were out on the 5 meter and 6 meter and we we're kind of switching off uh, seeing how the different sizes work and if the handles are in the right place and so on. So I'm happy to report that even though that 7 meter is huge it does have a lot of low end power so I was able to kind of pump and get it going even in, in uh, when the winds got really light and it was hard to get going on smaller wings so for um, those really light wind sessions having that uh, the seven meter wing in the quiver is definitely a nice plus the center handle is nice because it's centered so you can hold it with one hand also works with a harness line has harness line attachments on it which i use a ho hook that's just attached to my belt and um, and yeah, even though the wing is huge, the wing span is relatively uh, small. I mean, it's it's totally doable, and um, it's great for maneuvers like the duck jibe, where you don't want the wing tips to touch. People have been asking about the technique, and so for the duck jibe, what I do is I let go of the front hand, grab the handle as far back as I can swing the wing over my head and then sometimes I catch the strut with my new front hand to slow down the rota rotation and just bring it back over my head. So uh, it's a nice move to do in light wind because you um, kind of don't get backwinded or sometimes when you jibe the wing uh, it kind of gets backwinded if there's not much wind. So the other move that works well is the tack of course because you're going into the wind it keeps the pressure in the wing. Uh, the heel side tack is a little bit more tricky than the toe side tack. Like this is toe side, and um, but anyways, yeah, I was I was kind of surprised that even though this wing is so big, the seven meters uh, size, it still handled really nice. Um, obviously, it doesn't handle like a really small wing, uh, like the five meter, four meter, three meter. But, you know, I was able to back ride it backwinded without it dragging too much, uh, handled, handled pretty predictably. So I was really happy with the way it worked. Uh, the strut and the uh, front leading edge are massive, uh, has a very rigid um, airframe. So it's very uh, rigid and holds a nice profile, it has a lot of tension in the profiles so the shape of the profile is really good even when it's not powered up it holds its shape really well which I think helps with when in light wind just because it has uh, a nice profile it doesn't flop around a lot so it's good at generating power even in, in light wind here you can see the camera that's mounted behind my back it's a GoPro Max or GoPro 360 so um, this is Eddie shooting some video from the water. I think it's the same footage I'm also showing from the GoPro Max. So thanks Eddie for testing and shooting. And Dirk also, they, um, they were on the five meter and the six meter and uh, they were also able to get going. Um, so it was, you know, the, the, the wind got lighter as the evening went on. So the lighter the wind got, the better it was to have that really big wing. So I think um, seven meter, it's probably not gonna be my favorite size to use, but it definitely has its uses. Like if you live in a place where the winds are kind of marginal and um, you know having that big wing makes a difference between being able to go out and fly on the foil versus not being able to go out, definitely um, good to have, have that wing available if you wanted to go out in, in the lighter conditions and have the power to get going. And compared to other big, big wings I've tried, this is definitely feels a lot more compact and uh, easy to handle and uh, allows you to, to do a lot of the moves that you can do 
with the uh, with the smaller wings. This is Dirk. He was riding at two uh, and jumps this wing, the seven meter. It just feels super lofty. It's just like this big canopy, like a parachute over your head. So, and with that rigid airframe, you don't lose any power. Just very lofty and powerful feeling, and uh, that allows you to jump high and also come down softly because it just kind of um, has a lot of power in in the air which i really liked about it so um yeah even though the wind was really light i was still able to jump with it and yeah and of course you know the other sizes um I, you know i've been testing the five meter a lot that's kind of the size we find and then we finally got um the final design and then we transferred that into the other sizes so now we have three meter four meter five meter six meter and seven meter we're just testing the um, all the different sizes making sure everything's proportionate and works the way it's supposed to and then we're going to go into production and uh, have hope to have these wings available in early 2022 probably like in february or march we should have these available for sale so we're going to take start taking reservations for these if you want to um, pre-order one, good idea to put your name on the list. We have kind of a limited supply available. And yeah, I think people are going to be super stoked on these wings. They, they work really well. Of course, it takes a little bit of getting used to. You know, if you're used to a different wing, um, you know, it's not, not going to be instant where you understand everything that these wings can do. But I think once you... Um, Get used to it. The alien wing is is really nice. Um, the wingspan is a little bit narrower than most other wings I've tried and seen, so it's unlikely to touch down on the water, even the bigger sizes. But if it does, it kind of just bounces off. It has like thicker wing tips uh, and thicker all the way through, so you don't have a lot of flexing going on. It's uh, very rigid and. Um, yeah, has just really nice, smooth handling. Uh, the handles are all in the right place. It, it handles well on the wave, it luffs well. So a lot of nice um, features on this wing that overall I think uh, the design came out really well. I worked together with a uh, wing designer um, in Australia, originally from England but living in Australia and he is you know been designing wings for many years and uh, was really helpful in getting getting it right and you know I kept saying I want more attention in the canopy I want more attention and he said well there's not really a button on the computer that I can just turn to make more attention so it's uh, it's kind of a tricky tricky process to add that canopy tension so that it holds its profile really well and it's not all floppy so I figure that uh, wings usually tend to get more floppy as as they get older. They stretch out a little bit. So I wanted to start out with a, a really nice tension, and hopefully um, it won't get floppy too quickly. So yeah, so I think that's one of the nice features that it has a nice stiff profile. That it's um, yeah, it's not doesn't feel floppy like some wings. So I would say the main features of the Alien Wing are the really nice rigid airframe, compact design, so the uh, wing tips aren't very wide and uh, even if they do touch, they're, they're not prone to getting stuck on the water. So uh, it handles nice and neutral when you're on a wave and uh, just overall I think it's a really good design for um, free, freestyle riding, doing tricks and just having fun. Not sure if it's going to be the fastest for racing or whatnot, but it's definitely a wing you can have fun with. And now that we have it in all these sizes, I'm probably going to be out on the water more, even on those light wind days. With that seven meter wing, uh, it allows you to get going and do jumps and all kinds of stuff, even when the wind isn't very strong. So originally I was going to post a video today about our Black Friday specials that we have going on for the month of November. So, um, but I'm just going to post a link 
to our newsletter down below that shows all the specials. So if you're interested, check that out. I didn't really feel like making a video just about the specials. So this is way more fun and exciting to me. A little action from on the water and showing some R&D and testing with friends. Definitely fun to do that. And then afterwards, uh, it was good to get everyone's feedback, what they thought and um, you know how it's different from what they're used to writing. So it was uh, great to get that feedback. Stoked to have these wings coming out soon and hopefully you'll be able to get one of these wherever you are. Nice thing about the wings is that they're fairly easy to ship anywhere in the world and so we're going to probably have them available uh, with free shipping to anywhere in the world. That's my plan, just have a price that includes shipping to wherever you are. So uh, whether you're in the US, in Hawaii, or in Australia, New Zealand, um, you're going to be able to get these in Europe and Asia, wherever you are, we can get them to you. So hope to see people riding our alien wings everywhere. By the way, the alien is um, from the windows. When we uh, when we first um, designed windows, I thought the uh, oval is a good shape to kind of be able to see through the uh, wing without having to move it around and be able to see kind of through the wing without looking over the strut or whatnot. So, um, but then I realized that the those oval shaped um, windows kind of make it look a little bit like an alien. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the water. Aloha.